and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to go over Golden Tickets. Now, they are not in the game yet. Now, the way that I'm going to go about this video is pretty much going to tell you guys what they are, how you get them, what are their origins, if you guys know what they're about, how they work, and what players I recommend for them. Now, if you guys don't know a little backstory, Golden Tickets, pretty much, I don't know the exact Madden they started, but I've been playing since Madden 13, and it definitely goes back pretty far. Golden Tickets, if you guys ever seen the movie, uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Willy Wonka and everything, it's similar to that, like, there's a bunch of chocolate bars, five of them will have Golden Tickets, if you get the Golden Ticket, you get to do something special, right? Same thing with Madden. You open packs. That's how it used to be. You open packs, whatever. If you get lucky, or maybe it'll be like a solo this time. If you happen to pull a golden ticket or get a golden ticket, you are now able to be granted to create your own card. Now, the card obviously has to be within their range, probably. They'll probably give like a stat range, and like you get to pick the player, usually, and you get to make it to your liking. So, like, literally, you can make like a Tim Tebow with like 99 speed. You could do Tom Brady maybe with like 85 speed. There'll probably be a limit to how fast you can make them depending on the player. Like, a Tom Brady probably can't make 99 speed. But, Typically, there's like a it's a 99 overall card. You self-create it. You pick a guy who's currently playing or a legend. You pick a guy in Madden, and you pretty much self-create him. It's super cool. It's like my career, but you get like a, like literally create a player. Except you get to take a modern day player and create him how you like him. And then to so you now get them, those players are now coded into packs, so people can actually pull those cards. Super cool. I don't know how much they're gonna give away this year. Sometimes they do them in spurts, but. They did announce that they will be putting them on a. They will be doing a forum or a blog post for them pretty soon. Right, so the blog is out now. As I predicted, remember part of this is going to be recorded after a majority of this video was recorded. So, I did predict in this video that it would have been just like the sneakers again with the limited time solos. That is exactly the plan to do it. Now this is all the golden ticket information. As I told you guys, it had a chance coming out today. We want to take a moment to talk about how the golden ticket program will work this year, so you can better prepare and participate next week. So we'll be coming next week. Players will be able to participate in Madden 20 Golden Ticket Program by playing limited time solo challenges available for an hour. The dates and times will be available on March 10th and March 13th. So, I'm super hype because I'm leaving to LA March 15th. So, I was kind of scared I would miss a big week of content. But lucky for us, it looks like we're going to be okay on that front. Now, the way it's going to work is just like the shoes, guys. As soon as it comes out, you're going to want to play those solos. If you play them after you're over done, you'll get coin rewards. And if you get lucky, you can get a Golden Ticket. Now, each day we'll be giving out five totals, so five on Tuesday and five on Friday. Five for Xbox on Tuesday, five for PS4 on Tuesday, and then five for Xbox and PS4 on Friday. So it's five, 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 five. So there's going to be two dates total. Now, it will not be available on, P on PC due to logistical reasons, so I don't know. The format for the Golden Ticket will be a full game with three-minute quarters. After completion of the game, you receive a reward that will either be a quick sell or a Golden Ticket collectible. Our teams will be monitoring who receives the collectibles. Our goal is to reach out to all the players who receive the Golden Ticket collectibles by March 16th through their Madden email address. So make sure your Madden Rewards email address is up to date and it's the right one in case you do end up winning. For me, it would really suck if I'm at not home and then I win it and then I have to figure out a way to contact them and do all this. We will outline what rules apply to regards to Golden Tickets. We want to share some early information. Golden Tickets must be built off a base player item that's already been released. So... As long as there has been a card released and he's in the game, you can do it. Golden ticket cards cannot be players that have retired from the NFL during the 2019 season. Legends are good. Players who retired are not. So I guess it's because they have the rights to legends. They have rights to players in the NFL. Retired players technically aren't in the NFL anymore, and they don't have their rights because they're not legends yet. Golden ticket players cannot use the icons from the Superstar KO mode. Golden, which I'm guessing is like Migos and stuff. Golden ticket players will get a physical chemistry slot, which is like Sprinter, which is cool because you cannot power them up. They will get a team chemistry slot. Team chemistry will operate the same way as it does with the programs. Uh, it will be only for those that the player played for it in the NFL in a regular season game. Golden ticket players will stand alone. Player items will not be eligible to power up. So you cannot power them up, but they get all the ability slots and everything, so it's fine. Winners have 10 days from being contacted to finish designing their golden ticket player. If a winner is unable to finish designing their ticket in the play this time, they will forfeit their opportunity. So make sure you get that done in time. Winners get to choose which tier 3 buckets they want available on their golden ticket player. This only restriction is that it must be from an archetype in this position. So... Let's say you do Michael Vick as your guy, like they pronounce here. You can pick his archetype as field general, strong arm, improviser, or scrambling for his quarterback ability archetype. And then he comes with those three abilities, obviously, and they have to be within the range of those abilities. I'll explain in a second. Golden ticket players will receive a fourth ability slot on top of that. So you will have four ability slots, but they can only be abilities that that archetype can get. So make sure you pick an archetype that gets the only abilities you want. Like, let's say one of them, like, let's say, I don't think it's possible, but let's say one quarterback archetype can get armbar. 
you go with that one, you can maybe get armbar on him. But they have to also hit the threshold, guys. So I don't think just because you can get them means that they get them. So, for instance, you can put, like, a strong arm on Michael Vick so that he'll hit the evasive, uh, the escape artist threshold as well as, like, the gun, the gunslinger and the dashing dead He'll hit everything. Let's just say. And they get a fourth ability slot. You can put another thing on them. Golden ticket players students hit the threshold. So they say, like, for Tom Brady, if you do a Brady card and you want to get him escape artist, do not pick the scrambler ability because more than likely speed will not reach the 80 threshold even with the upgraded bonuses, which means that he won't even be able to get it anyways. You'll kind of waste the card. Physical ratings will be handled by a mutt team, but winners will be able to choose with the three skill ratings they want to see boosted. So pretty much if you pick Michael Vick, they will make the card how they'll usually make a Vick, but you can give them three specific categories you want uber boosted. So you can say his speed's always good, right? So you say, um, I want his medium accuracy and his stiff arm. They'll probably end up giving him like a 95 stiff arm and like a 99 medium accuracy. Everything else would be like a regular Michael Vick card. Had they released a 99 Vick card, it'll look just like that. But you get three stats that are boosted. You could really make it funny. So like, let's say you do like Nathan Peterman, which is one of the jokes they're talking about. You can give him a 99 throw power or or 99 speed or vice versa. Let's say you pick Cam Newton and you know he's never really good at passing or whatever. You could, or you can give him like a 99 stiff arm, 99 truck and Cam Newton, which can make him like a power back kind of thing. Could be super fun. Physical ratings will be handled. Like I said, they will not be LTDs. They will be in packs for the rest of the year, but the increased opportunity to pull them is the first 40 hours of their initial release. Madden will continue to reserve the right to decline whatever you say um, when you pick them because obviously, I don't know if you don't know how, maybe they wouldn't let you do a Nathan Peterman. Not sure if that's what they mean. Uh, the no, tick, the golden ticket creation will be based on a first come, first serve basis. This means that whoever contacts this first is guaranteed to get their choice of the player, but it may not hold true. There will be no duplicate players. So they're saying, like, if you pick Michael Vick, and then the other guy comes along a day later and gets his ticket and does Michael Vick. You can't do both. You have to pick a different one. But that's it for this. Let's put this into the rest of the video and enjoy and check out all my player predictions and everything else. As you guys can see right here, just to show you guys, like these are some examples of golden tickets. As you guys can see, let's see if I find a bigger picture. It's probably as good as we're going to get. You see right here, 99 Ryan Shazier golden ticket. You see Jimmy Graham. You see Michael Vick. Michael Vick was always a popular one. Now here's the thing. Typically, depending on who gets the golden ticket, typically it's always like one of the already glitchy cards, like a Lamar, a Vic, or it's someone super cool that like we haven't gotten upgrades for, or rare cards. Now, guys, Madden's different nowadays. Nowadays, you can afford any player, you can get any, anyone can get any player realistic if they save for them. Back in older Madden's, it wasn't like that. Like Michael Vic, like that limited time Michael Vic back then and back in the day, used to cost two, three million coins. You could not touch that Vic. Only a select few people in the community could get that Vic. Nowadays, everyone can afford Vic. It's a set piece. Everyone can get it. You know what I'm saying? It's so different now. So, back then, people used to pick the rarest cards. They make a golden ticket Vic that was even more expensive to get. I remember watching guys like Cullen Berger trying to pull this card, spending millions of coins on these cards. It's not It's not the same day and age it used to be in that terms. But, on the bright side, that's fine now because that means that we'll probably get some more realistic type players we can actually afford. So, as you guys see, Cam Newton, there's Marlon Humphrey, Brian Dawkins. It's pretty much, you pick a player, they make a golden ticket card, it becomes an LTD. You pretty much create your own LTD. Now, like I said, how rare are they? Super rare. Like, they, they're going to announce. Like, they'll probably only be like, let's say they do it in a series. So, they'll drop one in uh, March, April, May, June. Let's say they did it like that. It pretty much, I don't know how they're going to do it, but it'd be, they announced, like, there's 10 tickets in packs, or there's only five tickets in packs. Go, and, like, you have to pull them. It's as simple as that. There's no there's no uh, rhyme or riddle to it. Just pull packs. It's like an LTD card, except they're limited LTD cards. Like, they're not, like, unlimited. You can only pull certain, like, five. And I doubt more than one person. I doubt you could pull more than one. That'd be super cool. And if you did, you'd probably play the lottery because more than one golden ticket. I don't even know what those odds are, but they're definitely crazy. You guys see it. There's plenty of cool stuff. Golden tickets always super cool. I they're always so much fun. Like I said, probably not gonna pull one. Never had a chance to pull one. Like never really tried hard to pull one. But if we did, that'd be super cool. Their stats are usually crazy. Like let's go to Vic stats real quick to show you guys. Their stats are always super insane. We got 96 speed on Vic. Again, guys, this is back in the day too. But back then. Back at this time, Vic always had high speed, high throw power, no passing. They made Vic a lot better this year, so don't compare it to this. But I'm telling you guys, like card stats are usually crazy good. Now, honestly, 99s don't look too great on these cards. I'm just, I don't know why, surprisingly. But I remember back, yeah, like the older Golden Tickets. Look at Tom Brady. Tom Brady Golden Ticket back in like what is that Madden 25, like Madden 16, 88 speed on him, Tom Brady, which is insane. And he had 104 throw medium, 102 throw short, 101 throw deep. These are, this is back when golden tickets were super juiced. Obviously, they have to make it a little more realistic over time. Zeke, 99 speed. Yeah, golden tickets were juiced this year. If, that, if these are real pictures, these look juiced. Man, 16. But guys, head back over to the man screen. Predictions on golden tickets. Now, here are the guys that I can you can expect. Guys, I promise you, it's never going to be like, it's never going to be like something stupid. It's not going to be something like, 
oh, like a tight end, like Tony Gonzalez. It's always some glitchy ass stuff. I'm telling you guys. So one of my predictions that I would like, or who are the guys that I would pick? Robert Griffin III. That is one guy. Throwback to 2013 or RG3, I'm pretty sure, 2012 rookie year. Give us a 99 RG3 with 99 speed, crazy abilities, and everything. That would be super fun with the arm sleeve and everything properly. With the dreads hanging out the back. That would be super fun, in my opinion. Next, Tim Tebow. Who wouldn't love a 99 speed Tim Tebow car that's super strong, can truck, play multiple positions, can be put a tight end? That would be super cool. Next, Michael Vick. Guys, it's always a shoe. Michael Vick's always up in contention for a golden ticket card, which also puts Lamar Jackson there, who we'll also have in there. Because remember, Lamar Jackson's like the new kind of type of Vick in terms of Madden. So Lamar and Vick, 99 speed, crazy passing, crazy junk, uh, jumping and juking. Next, Troy Palomalu. Now, again, golden tickets are known to always like produce rare players. Now, Troy Palomalu is a brand new addition back to Madden after a few years. So he could be in contention to get a golden ticket type card. Could be super cool. Next, Bo Jackson. Obviously, Bo's always in contention, but... I don't even know how much better you can get Bo. If there's another Bo coming, and then there's a golden ticket Bo, I would you give him all 99 stats because he's borderline there. Uh, Cam Newton's another guy. Now, guys, let me give you guys some breakdowns. So, Cam Newton would probably have, like, a 95 speed, but he'd also have probably close to, like, a 95 truck and 95 stiff arm. Like, the, the guy can make him crazy. Now, I don't know how it works. I don't know if they let you pick your stats. If they give you, like, a skill cap, like, you have 180 skill points, use them how you please. I don't know how they do it. Or you can increase it from the last card, and they give you, like, 20 points, you know, put it wherever you want. So you can either max out one thing, which could be why some golden tickets have some max out stats and other ones aren't that great. I don't know how they do it. Or you just give them a name and they make it how they please. I don't know, but I do know that you do get to pick usually. Now, another name, Christian McCaffrey. Christian McCaffrey could be one of the favorites for a golden ticket this year. Because think about it. A lot of people love Christian McCaffrey. A lot of people love the hype from the season. One of the top players. And he, doesn't, he did not get the love he deserved this year. He only got an NFL Honors card. Now, I say only, not that it wasn't a good card. Uh, not that it wasn't like a high overall card or that it wasn't an NFL Honors card, but the card sucked. Like, the stats did not match up to uh, almost an MVP contender, in my opinion. Now, Christian McCaffrey, in general, would be an awesome card. 99 speed, 99 juke, 99 spin, probably 98 catching. Like, that'd be super cool. My my In my opinion, my favorites, I think, are Robert Griffin, Cam Newton, and Christian McCaffrey. Those are three top options for me. Everyone loves a Cam Newton. And they're also super cool looking in game. That's always why people pick them. Now... What well, packs would I recommend? Obviously, we don't know more. We need more information on it. There will be a blog coming in the near future. Once we have that information, I can go about that. I can give you guys all that stuff. But for the time being, I think they'll be out of every pack. Although they might act knowing EA, they'll introduce game. Uh, they'll introduce golden ticket type packs that have an increased chance of pulling golden ticket. And you have to spend up points on it. Knowing EA, I don't know if I'd pull them. I don't know if I'm that if I'm that dumb to spend more money on this. But at the end of the day, golden ticket on the channel would be awesome, guys. We could use we could channel create a card. That'd be crazy. But guys, that is about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you are into the channel, make sure to go below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell, boys. Come join the family. Show some support, guys. Still grinding out Madden. No matter how you guys may or may not be on this game anymore. But having fun with it. Hopefully we can keep it up. I'm super excited for Madden 21. It's a sad, right? It's March, and I'm super excited for Madden 21. But golden tickets are coming, so i got to be more excited about that. We're going to enjoy that. I'll probably have a lot of coins. I'll sell some things off my team so I can start opening packs and having fun with it a little bit. Guys, expect series coming. Expect a lot of cool stuff coming because at the end of the day, as you get into this time, I know you guys care less about content anymore. You guys care more about entertainment. So I'll try to get to that as soon as possible. Well, guys, that's about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure to smack that like button. Comment down below. Turn on that noti button, boys. Come join the family. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to check out the content video from earlier today. Hopefully, it's over a banger LTD. We'll see what happens with that. But thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have been enjoying this week's content. By the way, we'll be going on vacation. Give or take like a week and a half going to Los Angeles. So... I might not have many videos. I'll probably try to get like one or two pre-recorded a day, just like I did last time on vacation. We'll see how that goes as well, because with this time period, there's not many videos to make to begin with. Don't know how much I can really pre-record. But guys, that is about it for the day. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out. Peace.